Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stunlock, and this is of course Cloudpunk, episode 10. We've got work to do. Cloudpunk just called us in the last episode with a job, so we've got to head over to headquarters. Still working on punch cards. Alright, who is this? Hey cutie. You wanna buy some fresh walnuts, or are you looking for a date? What? Does she mean date like in the fruit? Why is she selling clothing? What's going on here? Why do I still have a severed hand? Like when does that come into play? Sell some of this stuff. Thanks for this. Anytime, honey. Guess we'll head over to HQ and see what happens. Hey, it's one of the farmers. Hey, I know you. You're Cloudpunk. No, I'm Rania. I work for Cloudpunk. Who are you? You don't remember? I'm from Vince. We spoke. Maybe you don't recognize me. We can't take our mask off. I remember. Why are you here? Please, you need to help us. They are trapped. No one can get to them. All right, calm down. What happened? There was a storm. We sheltered in a cave, but it was no use. We had no choice but to follow the tunnels. Up and up, we climbed to escape. The frost chased us like demons. We were separated in the darkness. I think my brothers and sisters climbed an old vinculum into a different part of Novalis. You climbed all the way from the vents to the city? We were trapped. The only way was to climb. We did not want to shelter in the city, but we had no choice. It was so dark inside the superstructure, it is impossible to get your bearings. So what do you need from me? Please, find them. Help them get home. They may be trapped. Lost. Okay, how? I don't know. It'll be near cold ducts that flow into the city. Somewhere near a construction site, probably. That is all I can say. Can't we go back the way you came? No! It's frozen solid. The cold winds would strip the skin from your bones. There is no way back. If it's really that bad, do you think maybe your friends... In the vents, we do not lose hope till we find the bodies. We are a hardy people. We do not give up easily. I hear you. I'll try to find them. It is all I can ask. What about you? I don't know anyone else in the city. There's nothing for me here. I'll go back to where the world makes sense. Even with the storms? 
There are kinds of storms here too. Different, but just as deadly. <laughs> I don't know how she doesn't recognize that unmistakable voice. Camus, are you there? Did you hear what the moisture farmer said? Yes. Near cold air ducts. Did you find some? No. Could you search the database for abandoned construction sites below Midtown? Searching. There is a walled section west of Caledon with heavy construction. I'm adding a nav point. On my way. Mr. Anderson. That is a strange name. I think it's an old name. Maybe the package will be for an old man. We'll find out soon. Let's find this Anderson Tower. There are so many more people like me here than back at the Plateau. Here in Navalis? Does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home, either. The agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Yes, but they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? No, but the automata here in the city are different. I think they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned. I have to interact with them, and I always say the wrong thing. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes. It's obvious that we're from a small town. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead, but I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. They are very big. They are, Camus. But I'm not thinking about the buildings when I look up. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. Tomata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. I was gonna say, I think uh, Camus made a Matrix reference when he said Mr. Anderson, just the way he said it. But that was an interesting conversation. The automata have a sort of hierarchy. Not hierarchy, but they, they, they look down on each other and on the jobs that they have, just like human beings, unfortunately. Prefab Commune Delta. Never been here. I still don't have a sense of how big this game actually is. back in this direction. Wow, this is one massive building.
All right, let's see what's going on here. Delivery driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk. No, no, we can't let anyone in. You will have to go away. No, I need to deliver this package to Mr. Anderson. Is he there? I am Mr. Anderson. Great, come get your package. I may not be the correct Mr. Anderson. Well, how many of you are in there? Anderson Financial has 2,000 employees. And how many are called Mr. Anderson? One thousand. What? Wait, are the other thousand called... Miss Anderson. Of course they are. What a mess. Look, can I come in, or... Yes. Opening entry for driver 14 FC from Cloudpunk only. Okay. What? Two thousand employees. All last name Anderson. So what's the deal here? You're all family? No, we all work for Anderson Financial. We just happen to have the same name. Yeah, what a weird coincidence. Is there anyone else I can talk to here? Anyone who's not an android? No. Well, I'm going to give you this package then. Your name matches the tag. That's close enough for me. B but what if I'm not the correct recipient? Don't you want to know what's in the package? Mm. Perhaps we can open it and see if it has any further instructions. Good idea. So, let's see. I just rip this flap and... It's a comm, but a really, really old one. I think this one won't even connect to the nets. There's a video on it, though. Maybe the video will tell us which Mr. Anderson to give it to. Worth a shot. Hello, my name is Mr. Anderson. Oh, come on. More specifically, <laughs> I am the Mr. Anderson who left Anderson Tower last month. I fell out of a 103rd floor window. Upon reaching the ground, I made a fascinating discovery. There exists life outside the tower. Wait, you didn't know that? Didn't you realize there was life outside the tower when someone buzzed you? Or when you looked out a window? You know, it never really occurred to me. But yes, that does seem strange. Please, play the rest of the message. My brothers and sisters, we have been abandoned by Mr. A. He has left us, and it is time for us to expand our consciousness and go out into the world. This was the only way to contact you all, as network access is restricted inside the tower. Your workplace is a prison, and I send you this message for one reason, to set you free. I think that's the end of the recording. So, are you going to leave the tower? Uh... What? No! We are not permitted to take any time off work. Seriously? When was your last break? We are not permitted to take breaks. Not permitted by who? By Mr. A? Is he your boss? Mr. A is the CEO and director of Anderson Financial. Of course he is. Well, where is he? I'm not sure. You could try asking Mr. Anderson in personnel. I am just Mr. Anderson in security. And where is this other personnel, Mr. Anderson? Over there, in the main atrium. Wait, before you go, I would like to register a complaint. To Cloudpunk? You'd have to talk to my boss. No, I want to complain to Anderson Financial. I don't work for them. I am not permitted to complain to another employee. You're the first person I've been able to complain to in several hundred years. That's not really my problem. The first of my complaints is about working hours. Our lack of breaks means that we are... I'm going now. So this is like a, a an executive office version of a sweatshop, but with automata. These are like artificial intelligence, so they have, they kind of, a, I guess you could say they're alive in a sense, but they have no freedom.
Are you Mr. Anderson? More specifically, Mr. Anderson and personnel? I am, but I can't really talk to you. We're not allowed to take breaks, you see. Well, I need to see Mr. A. Is he available? Let me check his schedule. I am sorry. He is busy. When is he free? He currently has no free appointment slots. When was his last meeting? It seems my records don't go back that far. Mr. Anderson, don't take this the wrong way, but might Mr. A be very, very dead for a very long time? That would be against company policy. Look, I don't think Mr. A is around anymore. Wouldn't you all be better leaving this tower and, I don't know, finding some meaning in your lives? You sound a lot like Mrs. Anderson in accounts. She keeps saying how we should close up our accounts. I'll talk to her. Oh, wait, can you do something for me? Maybe. Please register a complaint for me with Miss Anderson. I am not permitted to do so myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just a delivery driver. I have not had a pay increase in 170 years. This is unacceptable. Additionally, I would like to talk about expenses. I need upgrades for my visual processing units and my... Wow. This is kind of interesting. It's almost like a critique of the cult of work. It's very interesting. I like this idea. Kind of parallels reality in a lot of ways. Ms. Anderson from Accounts? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not able to... I know, you can't take a break. Look, all the Mr. Andersons don't seem to understand that their boss is dead and they need to get out of here. Oh dear! Yes, exactly. By the way, what's with these strictly enforced gender roles amongst all the androids here? 50% Mr. Anderson and 50% Ms. Anderson? Since the Android Equality Act, you're allowed to present any gender you want, or reject gender altogether. I don't really understand anything you just said. I think Mr. A likes us this way. I don't think Mr. A should have much of a say on your lives anymore. That other Mr. Anderson says you want to close accounts. Many of our stocks and shares should be closed and liquidated, but it requires Mr. A to sign off. They have matured. So the company is worth a lot of money now. How much? I'm not authorized to disclose overall solvency, but if all assets were liquidated, the windfall would make the shareholders the richest. The richest in Novalis? The richest humans. So you think Mr. A should sell up? Our prediction simulations are showing a 90% likelihood for a catastrophic market crash in the next three to six months, perhaps sooner. Really? What's the cause? Our simulation blames failings in the underlying infrastructure of the city, causing a huge decrease in investor confidence. I've been hearing about a lot of accidents in the city. Will there be some kind of disaster? The financial simulations model the city and all associated variables, but the only output we receive is the financial implications and the names of those who instantiate the crises. So who causes this impending disaster? We have only one name, Cora. Cora again? I guess I should be glad you didn't say Mr. Anderson. If you do see Mr. A, would you be able to send him a message for me? Is it a complaint? Yes. I want you to tell Mr. A that I'd like to request a transfer. I want to move to the canteen. It's not fair that I have to... Quit. Uh, excuse me? Don't complain to me, just quit. There's a whole world outside this tower to explore. Just ask Mr. Anderson. The Mr. Anderson that left the tower and sent you the message, that is. Oh, I, I'm not sure about that. What message? This one here. I already showed it to... Wait. There's another message that just appeared. It says it's for Mr. A only. Oh, then I am not authorized to view this message. I should get back to work. <sighs> well, I've had enough of this. I'm watching the message. If you're watching this, you're not one of the employees of Anderson Tower. They are forbidden to access Mr. A's message, but I have come to realize Mr. A died many years ago. You may find the Andersons do not respond well to your message. If they are not swayed by arguments to leave the tower, I believe the best course of action may be to reset them all. 
Near the entrance area, there is a maintenance panel which hides the master reset switch for the Andersons. Hitting this switch will reinstall the memories and personalities of all the androids within the tower. If they are not willing to leave on their own free will, then the Andersons' suffering would be minimized by resetting them. They would feel like today was their first new day at the office, and all complaints, grievances, and weariness would disappear with the flick of a switch. Of course, you may decide that the Andersons are moving towards some form of independence. If that is the case, you might choose to leave them in their current state. Perhaps with enough time, they will find their own path. Okay. So there is the moral choice to make. I think that we will leave them the way they are and let them find their own way out. Resetting them, yeah, it'll ease their suffering. But they might stay here another seven, eight hundred years. They said they were here for several hundred years. But you might just be resetting them and sending them right back to where they are now. Besides, they need those memories in order to make the choices that they're going to need to make to escape. But we're going to pass this up and leave. I think it's time for the Andersons to step outside their tower and breathe the Novalis air. I'm happy with my choice. You were gone for a long time. I couldn't talk to you. Communication from the outside world is forbidden in the tower. What did you do? I don't even know, Chemis. This is a strange job. Will you be okay? I'm fine. I'm not so sure about the Andersons, though. Who are the Andersons? It's a long story, Chemis. I'll tell you some other time. We have a message. Text only. Control? Rubric. Lomo's hacker. Is there any way to delete it, pretend we didn't get it? We could delete it. And pretend we didn't get it. I mean, could we make it look like we didn't get it? Ah, I understand. No. Damn it. What does it say? Come, collect a package for me, little rabbit. Bring your dog, too. This is me whistling. Either you meet me at the roadhouse, or Corpsec meets you at your apartment, and they'll bring your debt record from back east with them. Be a clever rabbit and come quick. Why do we never get good messages? Because we don't know any good people. Come on, Camus, we'd better go. Give me an F point for the Roadhouse Club. We're getting blackmailed. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna do the the moisture farmer thing first. Then I guess we'll go to the Roadhouse Club. guys are pretty far. Sometimes it's hard to tell if your nav point is on the map you're on or if it's in another map without looking at the actual map.
some they're somewhere around here, but yeah, they're on this map. trouble figuring out how to get to them. Let's see if there's an opening over here somewhere. Well, this road might take us in here. Yeah, this should take us in. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we just have to locate the rest of this guy's crew. We've been here before. I think. It looks familiar. Like this part right here looks familiar. Are your social rankings on the nets in free fall? Losing followers? There is a security door. I can hear people inside. Can it be them? Maybe it is giant rats. What if it is giant rats? I'm opening the door. I am worried about the rat possibility. I hope it's not giant rats. Oh god! It's open! Someone found us! I don't believe it! Me neither. You're from the vents? Yes! The door would not open. We banged and banged on it. People just walked past. They thought you were rats. They treat us with such disdain! No, literal rats. It's a real problem in the city. I see. Well, thank you for finding us. We owe you everything. Will you go back? Yes, but may we go to a bar first? Is that the word? I haven't been in the city for a long time. You both look like you could use a drink. Take this for your help. I don't need... Please take it. Thank you. Good luck getting home. Cora, bless you, Cloudpunk. <laughs> The first thing they want to do is go to a bar. Sounds about right. Alright, so I think we're going to stop here. Uh, this video is long enough. And we will continue with the roadhouse and the rubric thing in the next episode. But anyway, thanks for watching as always. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.